special educational program were arranged for adults who missed the opportunity of continuing their formal education. The Bureau with the Educational Department conducted an accelerated catch-up education program for those who opted to appear for national examinations. Two centers were established for this purpose for male and female. During the advanced level, the, the university entrance examination last year, out of 361 students who sat for the examination, 222 got qualified. And out of this number, two will be joining medical colleges, one will be joining the engineer faculty, and about 30 will be joining commerce and, commerce and arts streams into the universities. And out of the ordinary level examination, out of 166 who sat for the examination, 91 will be, is qualified for the advanced level. And we are in the process of developing 50 professional counselors out of these beneficiaries. ceremony including wedding dresses, flower garlands, the necklaces, individual wedding photographs, wedding gifts in form of 5,000 rupees deposits in joint savings accounts and bride dressing by experts and the army band played for the ceremony. Peace Village was established to facilitate reunification of married ex-combatants who were undergoing rehabilitation separately at different centers. 53 couples who had the privilege of being the members of the first mass marriage ceremony of Sri Lanka were housed in this village with a plot of land each for cultivation. These beneficiaries underwent rehabilitation and vocational training programs whilst living under one roof as a family unit. Fully fledged mini computer lab with 30 computers were established to enhance IT related vocational training. This was declared open by HA the President on 1st April 2010. It has the capacity to train approximately 100 persons a day. On this day, 157 university students were reintegrated. Prior to reintegration, all beneficiaries are given a special three-day workshop on pre-reintegration mentorship covering important areas such as diversity and harmonious living, peace building, role of man and woman in the society, interpersonal relationship and empowerment, programs on banking systems, microfinance, developing project plans, obtaining loans. And this was developed as a special program on economical rehabilitation. And assessment of de-radicalization was given special attention. All beneficiaries are provided with special medical care, including provision of artificial limbs, wheelchairs, crutches, spectacles, and hearing aids, etc. 
or beneficiaries who are lost or not in possession of national ID cards, birth certificates, marriage certificates, educational certificates are arranged with a special program in liaison with the Register General's Office and the Education Department. Special drama and cultural programs and art exhibitions were conducted to selected beneficiaries who had the natural talents in singing, acting, dancing, and work of art. The Bureau created a special cultural group out of beneficiaries who performed extremely well and were gainfully used within all centers to convey the message of peace and unity. One member out of this team has become a professional actor and another group has developed a Western musical band. And the balance is working as a forum theater, conveying different messages to the community.